Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. There is no intro for this video, unfortunately. I lost the clip, so we're going to get started. This is from the look that I wore in my last Ipsy unboxing video, so let's get started. First things first, I'm going to start off by priming the lids, and for this I'm going to be using the NYX um, eyeshadow primer. You guys have seen me use it in previous videos. And going in with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie as my transition color, transition transition color I'm gonna be putting that all over the crease in a very sloppy motion but you know this is how I do things um, yeah just windshield wiper motions and just make sure you pack the color on and then next I'm gonna be going in with creme brulee over top of the peach smoothie and this is just gonna add a little bit more depth to the peach smoothie since it's a very light shade Now going in with the It Factor, the start of the show. This is by City Color and this is in the color Ladylike. It's one of their pressed pigments. They came out in August. They are phenomenal. The quality is amazing and the best part, they're literally seven bucks, seven or eight bucks. Super affordable, right? And they're humongous. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Fix Plus. They look really, really beautiful when you add some Fix Plus. Makes it very metallic, very shiny, very wow. Looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna be putting that all over my lid and I'm just going to pack it on. Now I'm going to take Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. If you don't have this color, just use any brown, reddish brown that you have in your collection. And now I'm just going to be putting that in my crease over top of the creme brulee and the peach smoothie. And this is just going to add pretty much the darkness to the look because we are not going to be going in with any darker colors. This is the darkest it gets. I wanted to stick to something that wasn't as dark. I didn't want to involve any blacks or anything like that. So I'm going to really diffuse the Cocoa Bear and just blend it from the inner corner as you can see me applying here um, to the outer corner. And I'm not going to take any additional product when I go into the inner quarter. I'm just going to put whatever's left on my brush and then just kind of just sweep the Cocoa Bear all around the pigment that I just applied. Now to finish off blending the Cocoa Bear, I'm going to be taking the brush that has the additional product of Creme Brulee and Peach Smoothie. And I'm just going to finish buffing that out so it gives it a more softer airbrushed look. So it's not such a harsh, harsh, harsh brown just to kind of diffuse it a little bit more. And with all of the blending, we have lost some of the pigment, so I'm just going to be touching that up, and that's what you see me doing here. Now going in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. I absolutely love this eyeshadow. I say it all the time, but I'm going to say it again. I'm just going to be putting that in the center of my lid just to give the eyeshadow a little bit more of like a catch light effect so it can be a little bit more lighter in the center and darker on the outer corners. For the eyeliner, I'm using a Maybelline's Master Precise Eyeliner. And as you can see here, I really did think I was doing it on camera. Little did I know, I had a nice little clip of my messy hair. So yeah. And now for mascara, I'm going to be going in with Maybelline's Colossal Volume, I believe it's called. The purple and yellow one. I'm going to go in with Coco Goddess Lashes and now I'm just going to be cleaning up the edges and just cleaning up any of the fallout that came down onto my face and then I'm just going to be concealing my under eyes for this I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. I like to warm up the concealer with my fingers and kind of just blend it that way and then I go in with the Morphe G2 brush to finish pushing it into my skin. Totally optional, but I always like to do this. I'm just going to be putting some of the Cocoa Bear, and then I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line portion. I just love having things underneath my lashes. I just, I feel so weird when I don't have anything on the lower lash line. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. And then to highlight the brow bone, I'm taking some Shimmer Shimmer, and I'm also going to be putting that in my inner corner as my inner corner highlight. The rest of my face is pretty basic, and I also lost a clip to this. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. quad and popping on some nude lipstick. That pretty much completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!